and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I am going to make pikelet so you can do it at home as well. In the comments I'll have the ingredients, the method, the things you'll need. I'll just run through with you now what we'll need. We need milk, olive oil, eggs, self-raising flour, measuring cups, one cup and a quarter of a cup, spatula, a whisk, knife, small bowl and a big bowl, a non-stick fry pan, a plate and a clean towel. Now, the very first thing you've got to do is ask mum and dad or carer or who you're with for permission to do this and you need supervision. It can be an older sibling, it could be, you know, a grandmother, a grandfather, it could be anyone. Okay, so what we're going to do first and foremost is wash our hands with hot soapy water. So I'm using soap. And we all know how to wash our hands these days. Dry them with a tea towel. Drying is just as important as washing. So our first step is to put one egg into the bowl, crack one egg. how many thousands of eggs I've cracked and I never get a first go. Put that in the bin. And we need three quarters of a cup of milk. So this is a quarter of a cup and this is one cup. So I'm going to do pour three times the water into the bowl. Carefully. One, two, three. I'm going to put that in the sink so I don't dirty my bench. Then we whisk it. Whisk the egg and the milk together. I'm going to put that to one side and then get my big bowl. And I have my self-raising flour. We need one cup, so just one of these. And I'll give you the best hint I can is you scoop it up with a nice mound on it. Then you get your knife with the back of the knife, you scrape it. I'm not trying to make too much mess, mess. Then you've got one perfect cup of flour. And that is all the ingredients. Now most pie foot recipes put sugar in it, but I don't because I figure if you put honey or jam or even if you want to put chopped chips inside, there's your sweetness. You don't need any extra sweetness. So, we've got our flour and our egg and milk mixture. Pour it in and just whisk it together. This is my favourite whisk. I've had it for so many years. I just love it. This and my bowl, they go together well. Now, I have made so many pie cuts over the time, so I know what the consistency is like. So, it's a bit of a thicker consistency. So pancakes are a lot runnier, a lot thinner. Okay, so I have finished with my whisk. It's dirty, so I'll put it into my sink. And here we go, on the range, I've got my non-stick pan. I pop it on. And I get my foil. Oh, splashy. Some people use spray can oil. You can do 
that if you like. I don't use it myself. All over. Now I turn off on my pan. I've got a special feature on here where it heats it up very quickly, but I've got to be careful not to heat it up too much. We only want a medium. If you hear that, that uses electric uh, magnets to heat up. So it's getting pretty warm already. I'm going to dial it right down to medium heat. And we get our, you can use the quarter of a cup, that's probably better, but I've already put it in my sink so it's not clean anymore. And you just get a little bit at a time, however big you want your pipettes to be. Sometimes I do them really tiny and they're quite cute, or you can do them bigger. And you just drop it in there like that, and already I can tell that my pipette, my pan is not hot enough, so I'm just going to boost it up a little bit. It needs to kind of sizzle a little bit. I'm going to do three in this pan. This feature where you turn it right up, you've got to be careful because it can turn it up too much. So, as you can see, let me turn that down. I have, oh, oh, they're already starting to move. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got three pipettes in there. This is where we our clean pan, that uh, clean plate comes into. We'll put a clean plate. Uh, and our pipettes on a clean plate and a tea towel covers them. So it has to be a clean tea towel. Okay, I actually can't remember the last time I made pipettes on this stove. So it's all part of learning and you go as go along. Okay, what you want to look for is little bubbles forming on the top. So when those bubbles start forming, that will tell me it's time to flip our pipettes. Clean that up. This is a really good idea to get you started in cooking. It's a simple, it's three ingredients and Best of all, it makes a great morning tea. You can use wholemeal flour to make it that bit healthier. But it has to be self-raising. So there you go. I'm about to flip it. Oh. One. Two. Three. I must have to confess here, generally, my very first batch doesn't always turn out. And that's okay. Okay with it. But this one has worked fine. So it doesn't need too long on that side. And it's done. So I'll get my plate, my clean plate and clean tea towel. And I slide them on just like that. Now don't touch them straight away, they'll be hot. So that's what they look like. It keeps them warm when you put the tea towel on top. Warm them so that you can keep going. Sometimes when I'm doing a large batch, like for everyone for breakfast, um, I put the oven on just on a warm setting and put them in the oven. But I'm actually only making a small batch. Again, blob, blob, blob. I can hear it sizzling. I might turn it down a little bit because it's sizzling a little bit too much. I can see one or two bubbles forming on the edges, but you really need the bubbles forming on the insides of it. And one of the biggest things about cooking in a kitchen, when you're finished, you have to clean up. 
it's actually a fun time cleaning up. You make sure if you've got a dishwasher or you wash by hand, uh, never leave the kitchen in a mess. Pop, bubbles. Also, if you um, shake it around a bit, you can see that the, they move around okay. Just gonna leave a little bit longer. And you can hear the bottom getting cooked. And as I'm waiting, I get my bowl and I put it in the sink. Mm, I think my dishwasher's a bit full from dinner. I'll have a look after. So the best things to have these for morning tea, you can put some butter on it, nice yummy melted butter, or you can just put honey, you could jam. I'd say Vegemite, but I see these as a sweet, even though there's no sugar in there, I generally have them um, sweet. Nice. With self-raising flour with you, turn them, they will puff up. So it's light and fluffy. If you use plain flour, that won't happen. is one of my favourite things to do. I like to bake cakes, I like to cook dinner for my family and I like eating the food I cook and my family are really appreciative of what I've made. They Ooh. always tell me how much they love my cooking. Even if I know they didn't really like it that much because I do trial and error things, see if we like it, see if we don't. Um, but they always say thank you. So, boys and girls, here's a big tip from someone who loves being in the kitchen and baking, making things. Please say thank you. Even if you didn't, even if it wasn't to your taste, I don't like hearing, oh, I don't like this. We don't say that in our house. We say, mm, it's not to my taste because it might be someone else might like it. And it's a polite thing to do. So, I don't know if you can see that, it's my next batch. Probably a bit idea to pour it over that stove in case I drop it, which I've never done before, but never say never. Okay, I'm going to do one more batch and that will be it. I might just turn it up a little bit. Last bit. So this is probably made, ah, here's some maths. Three batches of three pipers. Have a think about it. How many have I made? What math equation are we going to use? I can hear you all thinking. Three Batches of three. Three times three. Three threes are nine. See? We don't have to just do book work to learn. We're learning through measurement, uh, method, procedure, and life skills. Especially when it comes to cleaning up. I might just turn that down a little bit. These are going to be so yummy to have. My kids are going to love them. Yeah. So, have a go at home. Ask mum, dad, carer, whoever you're with, if you can do it, and say it's healthy, three ingredients, and your toppings. Try strawberry jam. I love strawberry jam. I'd like to thank you all for watching my movie and coming into my house and stay tuned for something that I'll do next time. Thank you for joining me.